All right, so your boss just waltzed in and decided to toss you this geo movement task to handle in five minutes. No biggie. CGM, anim, CGM anim draw. Basically, we're going to draw our animation. First off, tweak our plane options to plane Y in the settings. Then smack that start recording context button. The moment you click, you're capturing the animation. Once you pick up the stylus, or mouse if you're a glutton for punishment, the recording halts. Now, it's time to hit the green button to wrap up the draw animation context. If you play the timeline now, you'll see the little character move around the screen. Tiny bit of tidying up at the end and voila, ready to roll. But wait, the movement's a bit meh. We can jazz it up. CGM, anim, CGM anim filter tool. We want our little dude here to keep an eye on where he's heading, so let's get on with it. Select a new action, trajectory aim, then add it to the mix. Since we had our object selected, it automatically loads into the object list. Neat, huh? Tweak our aim and up axis to align with our geometry's DAG. Then, hit the run button to get the filter solve rolling. Now, our character is paying attention to where he's heading. No walking into walls now, eh? Let's put a little spring into it. Back at the action list, we'll pick designer spring and add it. If we right-click the label and hit rename, we can label this filter to keep our sanity intact as the list gets longer and to have our animation layer be named on creation. Nix the translate because we don't need that this time. With this kind of setup, we want to aim through the body on Y plus and Z plus for the up. This will make the drag happen along that bowling pin of a spine. Scale matters, folks. There's a handy guess button that gives a good starting point. Another way to check scale? CGM. Query. Each. Then you get the bounding box size of each selected object printed to check. Pretty nifty. This time, though, we're going to up that value a tad. Now run just this filter by right-clicking the header and choosing Run. Hit play and you'll see our character swaying with a nice drag. Let's get the head bobbing too. Select that group. Add another action to the stack. Rename the filter. Deactivate translate. Then hit guess again. Adjust as necessary. We're going to fiddle with the angular frequency values on this one. Then run this filter solo again. And since our filters bake to layers, you can mute specific layers and adjust the weight to your heart's content. Keep tweaking, save your settings, reload and share the love with your team. These tools are like Swiss army knives. We keep finding new uses for them all the time.